Hi everyone, it's Monica, and welcome back to TaylorMade Cards for You. I love cigar boxes. They are great to store lots of goodies and items like ephemera or embellishments, and they're really fun to alter. As part of the Canvas Corp design team, one of the lines that they carry is Seven Gypsies. So I thought it would be fun to alter the cigar box and create like an old vintage suitcase something that you might carry if you're traveling abroad. I wanted it to have lots of items that you might collect um, as you're traveling. And I wanted to kind of create um, a suitcase where you would add stickers and little sayings. I'm kind of like a hobo suitcase. So that's what I'm gonna walk through with you today. Now ordinarily when I alter these cigar boxes, I do put them in my Etsy shop for sale. But I decided I'm going to keep this gypsy suitcase. And I even put a little suitcase tag on it that said Taylor. Now the cigar boxes come in all shapes and sizes. They can be as fancy or as plain, rectangular, square, all sorts of different choices. I tend to go towards the more square ones and the ones that are pretty simple. I like the wood grain ones versus the shiny ones because that way I can paint them um, and distress them up really nicely. Sometimes I will add paper to the outside of the box as well as the inside, but because I wanted this to look like a leather suitcase, I went ahead and painted this with some brown acrylic paint using an airbrush and then I sanded the edges to distress it just like you would find on an old traveler suitcase. Now I will measure and cut all the paper before I start to glue down anything. Once that paper is glued down and secure, it's impossible to pull up without ripping it all up and starting over. And I've actually had to do that a few times because of bubbles. So you don't want to go there. So because I have learned from experience, I measure twice, cut once, and hopefully glue once. Um, once I have my measurements exactly the way that I want them, I go ahead and I add my Mod Podge. Now, like I said, the adhesive that I'm using today is Mod Podge, but I have also used Perfect Paper Adhesive, which works just as well. I just happen to have this one on my craft table, so this is the one I went for. Now one thing you want to make sure, like I mentioned earlier, is you don't want to have any bubbles. Um, because if you have any bubbles of glue, then the paper will stay too moist and it will rip on you. So you want to make sure when you add your adhesive that you smooth it out really nicely. And then you take a brayer or maybe a flat ruler and push out all the glue that might be in the middle. You want it to be as flat as possible. So you can do this with your fingers. Like I said, you can do it with a ruler, but you really want to work it in to push all the excess glue to the side.
paper sack that I'm using to decorate the inside of the box is from Seven Gypsies and it's called American Vintage. It's an 8x8 two-sided paper variety pack and it's got some wonderful images. Not only does it have some great map images, but it has some wonderful ephemera that you can use to decorate the outside of your box. It's got some great word sentiments that you can use to cut up, along with some wonderful images of pictures all around America. It was the perfect paper stack to create my gypsy suitcase. Now decorating the outside of my cigar box is my favorite part of the project. While I know I have to decorate the inside to have a completed project, the outside is where I can get creative and use different types of ephemera, stickers, and just have a lot of fun with the project. For this particular project, like I said, I was going for a vintage suitcase look so I wanted it to look like a suitcase that had been well-traveled. So I was looking to add items from all over the world, maybe some traveling sayings, stickers, any type of ephemera that would give it that gypsy suitcase look. The adhesive that I'm using to adhere my ephemera is the Tim Holtz Collage Medium. Now I have the Distress Collage Medium that I use a lot for my ephemera, um, but that has more of a brown tone and I really didn't want to use that particular one, so I went ahead and used the matte, which is a clear adhesive. And it works really well to adhere some of my ephemera onto not only paper surfaces, but wood surfaces as I'm doing on this box.
cigar box has some hinges on the back side so I went ahead and added four dome studs to the bottom so that way the suitcase when standing on its side would lift up just a bit and I wouldn't have it being uh, too wobbly because of the hinges. I thought that the added uh, little dome studs was a nice finishing touch. So after I finished gluing down my dome studs, the last thing that I needed to do was to add my handle. I found this little brass handle in an antique shop down the street from where I live. It was the perfect size for my gypsy suitcase. All the items that I've used to decorate this box are from Canvas Court brand from their 7 Gypsies line. So I will leave a link to that shop um, if you want to check them out. The cigar box, like I said, I get in a local cigar shop, so I won't be able to leave a link for that, but I'm sure if you go to any local cigar shop, you'll be able to pick up an unfinished cigar box, and you too can create a gypsy suitcase. Thanks for stopping by tonight, and we'll see you again next time.